hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping in Scents. And I have some static electricity going on with my hair. Look at that. Okay, so I am back. We are less than one hour away. Less than one hour away from lockdown. Yes, the state is, New York State, is going to be going under lockdown. I know my pillows are everywhere. It's a crazy time. Yes. Um, okay. I will fix that later. So, um, the state is essentially shutting down at eight o'clock and, uh, they are asking, well, not asking, they're telling people, um, that you're only allowed to travel for essential purposes to essential businesses. Um, and otherwise they want you to stay inside. So, Today was the last time I got to hit the Dollar Tree. I went to a different Dollar Tree than in my last video. A lot of you commented on my last Dollar Tree video about how filthy the store was. And I didn't realize how dirty it was until... Um, oh, that's my radiator. I heard steam noise. Sounds like farting noise, but it's steam noise coming from the radiator. Anyway, um, yeah, so I didn't realize how dirty it was really until I looked at the video afterwards. Um, I don't shop at that Dollar Tree that often and I'm not making excuses for them because that place definitely from the video obviously they they haven't kept up with their cleaning um, but usually I don't remember it looking that bad I think you hear that whistling sound that is the steam coming up um, I think maybe because they were trying to stock and restock shelves and uh, maybe they were shorthanded you know because they they had, uh, the state had lessened the workforce little by little. So first they said only 50% of people could go to work. Then they said, um, no, first they said 50% of people had to stay home. Then they said 75% of people. Then they said 100% of people had to stay home from work unless you're an essential business. Now, because the Dollar Tree sells food and um, health and hygiene products, I think it's considered an essential business. Uh, so... Yeah, I don't know why it was like that. I think maybe they just got overwhelmed. I don't ever remember it looking that bad. But anyway, I'm getting off the subject. I went to Dollar Tree, a different Dollar Tree. I didn't film while I was in the store because, I don't know. I am I just wanted to do my shopping and, and leave. They really didn't have a whole lot at this particular Dollar Tree, but... They had more at this Dollar Tree than they had at the other Dollar Tree. And it was definitely in, not in such a state of chaos. Um, there weren't that many people shopping though. And I got a bag. I think I got a bag for free because I don't mean the plastic bags. I saw this bag by the counter and it says Simply Mermazing. I know it's like a little kid bag. But this is good if you just want to throw like a sandwich or something in here. It's by the Greenbrier Company. This looks like a kind of cheap, cheaply made bag. But anyway, it's a Simply Mermazing. And it's really cute. And it had, I guess, no barcode on it. I don't know why. Oh, because I could see here. So if you could see there were staples in it. So the, it must have had like a tag on it with a barcode um, and somebody ripped the tag off. So the, the cashier was just like, just put it on the side. And I thought he was going to just like add it on afterward. And I was like, did you scan this? And he wasn't paying attention to me. And I was like, okay, just put that in my bag, I guess. I don't know. Um, I don't think he charged me for it. I don't know. Let me look at my receipt. Maybe he did. Uh, no. Okay. So I got that bag. And then I picked up some plates because you guys saw how much tuna I bought. I got some heavy duty plates. Um, for sandwiches really sandwiches don't have to be put on heavy duty plates but i got plates these are 10 plates for a dollar so i got two of these i can always manage to find something in the dollar tree even when there's nothing to find then i found this bow oh i wanted to talk about 
something that I'm worried about during this pandemic, other than, of course, catching the dreaded corona. Um, nail salons, uh, beauty parlors, all closed. There is nothing open, basically nothing open where you can go shopping except grocery stores. And they don't want you to go out except for personal personal exercise, meaning you walk by yourself, you walk with your dog, and you walk six feet away from people, right? So how are we all going to look when this is over? I mean, the important thing is that we all get through this healthy and safely, number one. But we can't, well, I guess I could dye my hair myself, but you can't get a haircut, you can't get your nails done, and you basically, really, all you can do is stay in the house and eat. So are we all going to look like fat cavemen when we get out of this? I don't know. Or fat cave people? Anyway, I got this bow. Ask me why I got this bow. Because I needed some sparkle. I think when you're in this type of condition, in this type of situation, I think, I think you need a little sparkle. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, this, I need this in my life. I got more, like I said, more food. I still didn't eat I, the whole bag of, of what I got before. I've been good at staggering, like, you know, not eating a lot of junk food. But I picked up two more of these. These are the sugar-free Go Lightly uh, assorted toffees. I have to say these, the dark chocolate acai and blueberry that I got last time, which I did not eat in one sitting. This took me like four, four sittings or whatever. So I did, th this is 2.5 servings. So I could say that it did take me 2.5 times, you know, of grabbing into this bag to eat this. I did not eat it all at one time. Old me, before I started to kind of watch, you know, the snacking, would have eaten this in one sitting, but I did not do that. I wanted more of these. They did not have it. Um, I know, don't touch your nose, don't touch your face. They had this at that other Dollar Tree, but not at this Dollar Tree. Then they miraculously had tissues. They had the rectangle box and they had the square box of tissues. They actually had a lot of these, they had no toilet paper. I don't think they had any paper towels, but in a, okay, you can't really use these as paper towels for cleaning. I guess you could, but I mean, if you're stuck without toilet paper or whatever, or your allergies are acting up, or you're smelling all your Bath and Body Works candles and your nose starts running, some Scotty's brand tissues. And this is 148 tissues, two, two ply. So I picked up one. Um, then I also was able to find, they did not have, I'm just touching my glasses now. They did not have any hand sanitizer. They did not have any hand soap or anything like that, but they did have, I found one bag of these clean, uh, cleansing washcloths. This is contains vitamin E, chamomile and aloe. This is by the at ease company. I'm not, I don't want to touch my nose. Okay, one second. Oh, I had to wipe my nose on the tissue because, no, I'm not going to touch my face. It's my glasses. My glasses keep falling. My nose was running. Anyway, they did have a package of these washcloths. So I was surprised. There are 24 of these, 24 wipes. I'm going to keep these in the car. You guys know that I picked up two big packages of wipes from Walgreens in my last haul which had like 60 something wipes in each of those. Um, so I'm going to keep those for in the house for personal cleaning, you know, personal cleansing. But before in the car, like if I need to clean my hands or my hands are sticky for some reason or whatever, I'm going to keep these in there. But when the guy rang these up, they rang up as, um, where's that receipt? They rang up as, It says disposable cleansing washcloths, 24 count. But I could swear that when he scanned them, they rang up as feminine washcloths, which nothing on these indicates that they're feminine. Um, yeah. Hypoallergenic 
alcohol free, so it's not good for disinfecting. Contains vitamin E, chamomile, and aloe, pH balance, rinse free. Disposable cleansing washcloth, so yeah. There, I really, I don't know. I was so surprised to find these. Then I got, okay. So this is what I mean about the Dollar Tree where they, they can grab you for a dollar. Again, just the glasses I'm moving. Because this is a dollar and this is a dollar. And there's significantly less in this than there is in this, but they're the same price. So I, this is actually a little bit disgusting. So these are, they're both, they're both basically, they're toothpicks. They're the Plackers toothpicks. And I have found myself in the car at times, although very rarely, in need of a toothpick and just having to wait until I got home or whatever to brush my teeth. Or I actually, no, I shouldn't say that. I do keep a toothbrush and toothpaste in my purse, the little uh, travel size ones at all times, because you never know when you need to brush your teeth um, after lunch and whatever. So this is get the gunk out. That's actually very nasty as a as a slogan, but these are the placards. It says Micro Mint 12 Mint Dental Flossers. So I'm gonna keep these in my purse. And what I was hoping was, I, I don't know if these are the same size. I think these are smaller. This There's 12 in here, there's only 12. That is not a good deal for a dollar. And these are 36 for a dollar. So I'm thinking I could just refill this with these whenever I finish using these. Um, yeah, so got the placards and these also micro mint placards. Yeah, they both say micro. So I thought that had to do with the, the size of them. Like this was smaller than this, but they both say micro mint dental flossers. So it's important to keep your teeth clean. Then I'm going to save these. Okay. Well, also I got some toothpaste because I'm running low. I feel like I'm running low. Um, and they only had the other, I don't think the other Dollar Tree had toothpaste. They might have. Uh, the Crest, this is the only one they had. The Crest 3D White. It's um, Radiant Mint. Um, I feel like I had a hair there. Um, Radiant Mint. I like the toothpaste that's the jelly. I don't like the white um, toothpaste, but... Whatever, toothpaste is toothpaste, and you never know during this pandemic what people are going to run out of, what stores are going to run out of. So I did get the toothpaste for a dollar. And then I picked up some more snacks. I got, and these, like I said, they it's not really a good deal because they don't have that many in here. So these are Russell Stouffer sugar-free mint patties. These are like the thin mints. And how many are there in here? And this says smooth mint patties in dark chocolate. And I have been really a fan of dark chocolate. I never was, but I it really, I'm starting to prefer it. Doesn't say how many mints are in here. Just says 1.5 ounces. It says servings per container, serving size three pieces. It says one serving per container. Serving size three pieces. That can't be right. There's got to be more than three pieces in here. I don't know. I don't know how many's in here. So these are the sugar-free mints from Russell Stouffer. And it says handcrafted in small batches. Then I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers, which is Bargain Bethany. And she was talking about things that you can do uh, while you're quarantined. And one of the things that she said... Uh, to do was uh, puzzles. So she had found some of these like really great puzzles at the Dollar Tree, like jigsaw puzzles. Now me, I don't have a lot of patience. I never like doing puzzles. My mom, she likes doing puzzles. But like to sit there and do a 500 piece puzzle, I just do not have the patience for it. I need to get like the, the kids puzzles, like no more than 100 pieces, 200 pieces, and that's it. I would say 100 pieces. I think 100 pieces is my maximum. So I wanted to see if they had any puzzles. And the place was pretty much ransacked as far as the toy aisle. And they had one puzzle that was like 200 something pieces. But it was a scene of like a, a rows of canoes. Like multicolored like a rainbow. Like red canoe, orange canoe, yellow canoe. So it was a rainbow thing of canoes. And I was like... 
I'm not going to have the patience to put this together. So I did get two jigsaw puzzles. I was able to get two jigsaw puzzles. So if you have little kids or if you don't have, or if you have the patience of a little kid, I found two 40, 48 piece puzzles. I don't know how big the pieces are. This says for ages six and up, which I fit into. And I got this kitty cat and I got this clown fish. It's like Nemo. So I figured if I'm bored and I'm just sitting, this one is called, this one is called Pretty Kitty and this one is called Clownfish. So that's what they look like when they're done. It's kind of misleading on the front. So I'm hoping the pieces aren't super small. I want to open them up and see what the pieces are like. These are sealed. Um... I want to open them, but I don't want to, I don't want to mess them up. They're so pretty. I don't know. When I do them, I'll have to, when I do them, I'll show you what they look like if I do them. So I thought these were super cute to keep you busy while you're under quarantine so that you're not snacking constantly. Cause I know all of my videos, I've just been hauling food, food, food and toiletries. And that's about it. Cause you can't go out and buy anything. So anyway, <clears throat> I want to do a video um, about stuff that you can watch, people that you can watch on um, YouTube that are doing really good quarantine videos to kind of cheer you up. And I have found some new YouTubers that I like that kind of uh, cheer me up. I'm putting my stuff away here. So... There is this one YouTuber, she's, I think she's in, I think she's in Idaho. Um, I almost said Ohio, no, she thinks she, I'm pretty sure she lives in Idaho. Her channel, if I'm not mistaken, is called Fit Frugal Mom. And she does these great hauls about um, how you can shop on a budget. And she gets these huge, um, massive quantities of food from these like, um, not, I don't want to say big box stores, but like the, like the Costco's and the BJ's, the ones, the, the bulk buying stores where you can buy in bulk. And she has four kids and you know me, I'm the least maternal. So, but it, she's just, I, you know what I was, she's just, she seems so cool. Like if I was going to be a mom, I would like to be like her and I don't want to be a mom, but not, not to say anything against moms, but it's just not for me. I'm, I'm a business career gal. But she just has, seems like she has it all together. She knows how to shop on a budget. All her kids, she's got four kids. They seem really well behaved. Her husband seems like the, like, I don't want to say the ideal husband, but he's got like a really good, stable job. He works at a university. And she, she's, you know, she was showing how she was like home, not really homeschooling, but now homeschooling her kids because of the quarantine. And they were all so well behaved and her house is so clean and, you know, and she knows how to cook all these great things and she knows how to make her own preserves. And I'm like, I so could not be that put together. And then her and her husband go on runs together and they, cause she's like the fit frugal mom and she she's in shape and she I mean for somebody who's had four kids she's in really great shape shape and I'm just like wow that woman's got it all together I just you know anyway so check out fit frugal mom um then another I mean I'm still watching bargain Bethany and uh bargain Bethany and there's this other woman Oh, I can't think of what her channel's name is. She's in Florida. It's something Gator. I don't know. And she does these great Dollar Tree hauls. I'm going to have to talk about... I'm going to have to list these all in my next video when uh, I have myself all uh, organized. And then also check out if you want to know how to eat healthy and you just want to watch really fun videos, check out Chunk the Groundhog. He's amazing. So... um. I found this channel and you have to watch the, there's a, another channel called the Dodo 
and they did a video on the origin of Chunk the Groundhog. And basically, Chunk the Groundhog is a groundhog that just sits in front of a camera and eats vegetables. He eats tomatoes, eats squash, eats all these different things. And at first I thought it was a pet, like somebody who had lived in a rural area and had this groundhog, not really as a pet, but as like, you know, like a, not a farm animal, but in their outdoor rural living area. Uh, but it turns out that it was this gardener, uh, oh, my words getting slow here, gardener, um, realized that his fruits and vegetables were getting eaten and he said he had... Uh, been gardening a long time and was used to having pests in his garden but he didn't know who or what was eating all his vegetables so he set up a camera and lo and behold he caught this groundhog being very like you know what are you going to do about it sitting in front of the camera they think because he liked the look of his own ref reflection sitting there eating tomatoes and like the juices dripping down his face eating broccoli eating all this stuff and the gardener at first was upset but then was just fell in love with this groundhog and then he started putting up more cameras and then the groundhog went into hibernation and he said i hope he comes back and if he comes back i'm gonna plant his own garden so he said i'm gonna have my garden for my vegetables and give chunk the groundhog his own special garden where he can just go and eat his vegetables and I thought it was very cool so if you want to watch videos to cheer you up while you're in this quarantine definitely check out Chunk the Groundhog and he eats all his vegetables and he the guy he's making money on this now uh he sells like t-shirts and stuff I'm not promoing that but he uses the hashtag Chunk Don't Eat Junk which is just really cool because it just is like reminds you to eat your fruits and veggies so that's all i wanted to tell you guys for right now i have so much more i could tell you um i'm probably going to try to do maybe i'll start doing vlogs again do a video every day about what it's like to live in quarantine um i told you guys in a pre previous video i there are a lot of and I'm, like i said i'm not touching my face i'm touching my glasses uh because they keep sliding down my nose so um, there are a lot of businesses and workers that are considered essential. So even though I'm not going to reveal what I do, I do fall into the essential category. So I will be traveling for work. I do take my car for traveling. I fortunately do not have to take mass transit, thankfully. Um, and so I will, maybe I'll do a vlog every day about what it's like, you know, during this whole crisis. Um, and what I'm going through, because I've been interested in hearing what other people have been going through, but I've also tried to get away from that because I don't want to be, you know, sitting around just all depressed. Oh, and I should mention, there hasn't been really anything good on TV. Yesterday, I finally, finally got to watch at least part of Murder on the Orient Express, uh, where Kenneth Branagh, the 2017 version, Kenneth Branagh plays... Poirot, 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 whatever. Anyway, um, and it's about these people on a train and one of them gets killed and he's got to figure out which of the passengers killed this guy on the train. And so it was, it was pretty good. It wasn't, when I, when it got to the ending and you find out like who the killer is and no spoilers here, I was like, really? Is that how, is that how it's going to turn out? So it was, it was pretty good. It was pretty good, but I got to sit and actually like really watch it from the beginning. I caught it like kind of in between. And then when it got towards the end and they revealed who the culprit was, then I got bored and I stopped watching. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Stay safe. And until next time, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.